50 years ago, <laughs> good morning, YouTube, 50 years ago, 50 years ago, when I was a little girl and my parents, um, they umpired and coached kids, not, not necessarily little, well, not little, well, actually my dad did, he, he umpired for a little league and things up at the, the county recreation place. It was really close to our house, pretty much the elementary school when I woke up and anyway, I won on any teams, uh, ball teams until, well, I played, I played a little bit, I dabbled a little bit. My brother was the sports guy, but anyway, one day I was, I was pitching on the side to my friend and it was a little, it was a girls softball team going on. Apparently their pitcher sucked so damn bad that the coach looked over and saw me and was like, you, and he grabbed a green hat, was the green was the color of the team. And he ran over and he pushed it on my head and said, get out on the mound. You're going to, you're pitching. God dang it. And I was like, shit, my dad was umpiring. So the other team gets all up and says, oh, no, no, that's your dad's the umpire. He's going to get, what? I I'm sorry, what? I was absolutely shocked that somebody was going to accuse my father of being partial towards me and letting me pitch balls that were going to be called strikes. I was like, no, he's not. I was just completely floored by this because my father was methodical when he judged uh, things like this. I mean, he was a math, he was, I don't know that I'd call him a mathematician. Maybe he was a mathematician. He, he went high in math because he was an electronic, he was an electrical engineer for Bethlehem Steel. Actually, he was called out of, he was called out of hiding by Goddard. He was called out of retirement uh, by Goddard Space Center, uh -huh, which is hilarious to me. And to work on the Hubble. He worked on the Hubble. And I'm thinking, Dad, you, you really fucked that bitch up because it can't see anything. But by the time that this was going on, like right after he started working for the Hubble for a while, um, that's when I became no contact with both of my parents. But at any rate, my point being, see, I didn't get to ask him, Dad, how'd you fuck the Hubble up or what's really going on? Or do you know the earth is flat? Like I was going to get into this with him later. I almost called him after years of being estranged to say, look, I think, I think we're under a dome. I don't think this, like, why, what are, what is up with the space Hubble? And what is with this shit, Dad? I wanted to ask him, but I knew he would never... He would never entertain a freaking thing from me because the, the, the narrative went on about me being the worst daughter that ever lived on planet Earth. And I was like, wow, really? Anyway, yeah, I lost him before I was able to ask anything about the Hubble or what they thought about the shape of the Earth. My mom's still alive, but I don't think she'd ever entertain a question from me because, like, I wrecked her whole life, right? Her entire life was ruined because she bought me. And then I left her when I was, I mean, really, I didn't do anything. I just ate and got clothes on and grew up and left. I mean, I didn't do anything. Anyway, my point is, why do I keep talking about this shit? Because it's, bo it's bothersome. It's really annoying when you love your kids so much. You can't imagine doing the shit that your parents did to you. And you're like, should I drop my son off and just let him wing it? Yes, but not the way that my parents did. Anyway, back then, the girls were struggling to play on the boys' teams because they were good enough to do it and they weren't allowed. That was my point. They were not allowed. For the most part. And then there was that movie that came out, The Bad News Bears, where they tucked her hair up under her hat and, and took an ace bandage. and re This, it, you know, when I think back to this, that was a great movie. And then I'm thinking back, if I watched it today, would I be horrified that this old drunken man was telling this girl to put a binder on her chest and push her out on the ball field to be a pitcher? Tatum O'Neill or whatever her name was. Anyway, um, um, there's a reason women shouldn't play sports with men. I mean, not that kind of sports. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can play pool. I mean, but you can't, you know, you can play golf, but contact sports with men or not even contact. Like baseball is not supposed to be contact, but I mean, any, even boys. I mean, are you kidding me? Anyway, we struggled to get on the boys teams and we were not allowed for good reason because people had not yet lost their ever loving fucking minds. That's why it's a shame because some of those girls were good. Better than the, and as good or better than the boys and like could pitch faster, could run fast. But they were, I mean, and then they grew up to be lesbians. You know what I mean? They grew up to be Flojo. I don't know if Flojo, I don't think Flojo was a lesbian. Why did Flojo die so young? At 38, she just drops dead. I'm like, wait a minute. They couldn't have that young black woman with big thighs um, running all over the country and uh, changing things, I guess. I don't know. I'm just, I know. I'm so cynical. This person says, I had left a message like two years ago about Bernie Sanders and about politicians being all full of shit. And they're like, Yes, cynicism is what's ruining the world. You can't imagine that there's a a political figure, an actor, they said, a political actor that wants to maybe change things for you. I said, no, I, I don't, frankly. I'm sorry. Now, nothing, nothing that's not 
your county level, and even they're crooked as fuck. Can we just stop? I'm not. I'm not cynical. I'm gonna, go ahead and run down your roads of the. Oh, what do you think? Trump's an actor? You think? Yes, I do. First, he's like, oh, I don't, I'm against vax. I'm against the, you know, for my. Uh, he's against routine, you know, sticky things for the kids. But suddenly, Operation Warp Speed. I'm going to take the military. I'm going to deploy, quote unquote, the military. To what? Arm its citizens with, you know, time bombs inside their bodies? I mean, <laughs> wow, Trumpy. Hey, Trump. Fuck you. Have a great day, YouTube.